And you're supposed to stand on the tracks to get on it. You've got to work it out, it's a puzzle. I know, but I haven't got little legs. Oh. Hi, we're Julie and Ian. Follow us on our tiny homestead and our project of a lifetime, the building of our shipping container home here in the Pyrenees. And all of this alongside our full-time jobs. Hi there, welcome back. This is uh, part two of our mini digger series where we purchased uh, this mini digger in China. And I'll put a link below to the previous video which was our step-by-step -step guide to actually purchasing this um, digger. But today, this is the most exciting part and I have been waiting for a long, long time is the unboxing of our one ton mini digger. So, let's go, can't wait. First job though, quick cup of tea, and then oh, we're gonna get to work on the top of the, uh, the crate. The exciting bit. Can you see it? Not yet. Oh, it's wet. I oh, can... there it is. Oh, little teaser. Oh, yeah. I've packed it well. I'm trying to be careful with the plywood because I think in this day and age the plywood's probably more expensive than the actual mini digger. Here it is. Now the last part of the journey when we brought it back, it absolutely poured it down with rain. So that's what this wet is. Such a shame because it's been dry ever since. But other than that, it's looking okay. We're bringing it all the way down. Our first proper glimpse. That's it in all its glory. Look at it. Whew. He's dinky though. I mean, I'm um, 184 centimeters, nearly six foot two. So um, I hope it doesn't look like a little toy underneath. Right, so the idea now is to take off all the implements, put petrol in the uh, excavator, get him running. And then this, as you know, this trailer tilts and we'll hopefully be able to drive him off. None of this was actually uh, strapped down. So, uh... Oh, 
Oh, there she is. Just down here is the oil cooler that I was talking about earlier on in the video. So they had to rebuild the machine, including this little oil filter. Now that was an extra cost of about 130 euro in total. Just notice the cap says diesel. We thought it was petrol. Hmm. Seems to be anything in there. Yeah. What colour? Yeah, it's definitely diesel. Oh, that's good then. Oh, cool. So I have seen, as you saw earlier in this video, a video of it being tested in the uh, factory. You just hope it was the same one. So it should just start up. So let's see. You shut this down. This is my first sit on the machine. Oh my God. Oh, it's dinky. Isn't it? <laughs> it's small. Bigger than a Tonka toy. So the, this is the uh, battery isolation switch. Feels a bit cheap. There. So that's the battery connected. So take two on trying to start. Here we go. So that's the electrics. So we've got the hours, zero. And the voltage, 12.4. Couple of switches. All right, let's see. Before taking um, the digger off, we've just realised it's got this little ridge of wood. Perfect. just releasing the safety hitches for the trailer which allow it to tilt some bits and bobs of wood left over he made a ramp um, and we're just about to clip this on now oh it's heavy
just see so you can see the angle I just found this on the uh, the pallet so I don't know what that's come out of I'll have to uh, double 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 check so first of all I'm going to just put the bits I found there for later let's have a look what's in here empty <laughs> <laughs> ah, there is a little manual for the motor a little coupe motor it's handy that the uh, everything absolutely everything is in Chinese but I've found to be able to find uh, an English version of that somewhere it sounds all right I thought it was gonna be a lot noisier than that what have we got here a little bag of uh, cheapo spanners a 12 14 mil and a screwdriver what else and uh, some sort of clamp. I have to figure what that is. A grease gun. I've, well, got, I've already got all of this anyway, but it's nice to see that they've supplied. <coughs> Little pair of um, cheapo spa uh, flyers and a couple of bigger, slightly better quality 16mm, 18mm, 22mm and a 24mm spanner so at least I know what size spanners it will need last job is fitting the roll bar so there was a couple of options I had I had um, one with a roof uh, or the roll bar the roll bar was actually more expensive but because um, they sort of were doing the uh, rebuild for the oil cooler they said they would uh, take the roof off and just put the roll bar on for free so that came within the price so I'm going to fit that now 19 mil socket or if you're lazy get your ratchet gun out keep forgetting I've got this I'm using some uh, copper grease I'm just going to put in in the, uh, the bolts here probably not needed but I always seem to I don't like them dry so with the help of Julie we're just going to position the first section of the roll bar it's pretty heavy well it's decent isn't it yeah. Doing it loosely. Right. So now let's take these ones out. Put a bit of grease around here. Uneasy. No, it went on right. So it's just two bolts either side. Mm -hmm. Tidy. Oh, it's nice. Oh, it is nice.
solid. That is nice. That's a nice unit. Take off the excess grease. A little bit of chipping on the paint, but it has travelled a long, long way, even on the back of our trailer. I like that unit. Might even get me driving it now. It didn't come with a seat belt, but I think these positions here are for a seat belt. And I'm not quite sure that I want a seat belt because it wouldn't allow me to jump off as it toppled down the hill. So. I want an ejection button. Yeah. <sighs> so that's it complete. Yep. Little mini diggers here. I better check whether my head uh, actually fits. That sounds bad. Just your tool. No, that's okay. You all right? Yeah, because the uh, dark will be. <laughs> well, we could do like the roll cage in the rally car. Just put some foam on that bar at the top, <laughs> no, no, just no. in case. All right. Oh. So as I said, this is the uh, the Pro model, which was their newer model, and I bought this option, which is the oil cooler, and uh, there's a switch just on the dash that turns it on. So it's just coming on there. So when we're in the 40 degree summer, that'll be on. We've got the light, and then the key, two keys. The other options were this guard there on the front uh, ram, the bottom guard on the, uh, the blade ram. Um, I think that was it really, there weren't many. And also the, uh, the roll bar, which as I said was a sort of a free upgrade from the little roof. The little motor sounds quite good, it's a little coupe. All pretty clean and tidy. Looks really, really nice. I'm, I'm glad I've, it's nice having new things instead of a, a second hand old thing where I've got to start renovating it, cleaning it, and trying to find all the problems of why the person sold it. This is going to be a real help on the homestead here, but also mainly at the, uh, the new shipping container house build. Uh, we can't wait to start using it. We've got lots of fence posts to put in and a lot of excavation work at at the plot and um, we'll go through that in future videos um, the next video we'll do is this in use with the auger um, getting some fence posts in so that'll be really good to see see it in action so please follow us press that um, subscribe button press the thumbs up to make this video go viral and um, any comments at all I'm happy to help um, I'm really helpful uh, very thankful to Nick Garton on his channel uh, for the help he did when I bought this so I'm happy to pass that on as well so see you in the next video shame I don't like um, computer games hmm. you've got to get used to the controls you better do you're going to be doing most of the work oh it's moving I haven't even got it turned on it's the magic of Julie I know <laughs>